Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Back with you with another Spirit-led teaching. And today's teaching is going to be the kingdom of Christ is within you. The kingdom of Christ is within you, not with you. That would be external. That would be religion. That would be the Bible, because the Bible is a religion. That would be external. Not with you, but within you, which means it would be internal, and that would be in the spirit. That would be the spirit, your spirit being in Christ's spirit. And this is something that is hidden from a lot of people. Church is not hidden, but the gospel is. The letter is not hidden, but the light is. So 2 Corinthians 4, 3 and 4 says, for if our gospel is hid, it is hid from those who are lost, in whom the God of this present age had blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. The gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Least the glorious gospel of Christ. See, the gospel is Christ, and Christ alone is the gospel, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Many don't know that Christ is the gospel. They think Jesus is the gospel. They can't distinguish Jesus from Christ. They can't distinguish the flesh from the spirit. They can't distinguish church. They can't distinguish church, which is a system, from the gospel, which is a person. This is why it is written that broad is the Broad is the gate that leads to destruction. And many are on it. But narrow is the gate that leads to life. And few there be that find it. Few there be that find it. 2 Corinthians 4, 6 says, For we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency or the superiority of the power may be of God, which you can say Christ and not of us. These temples, whether male or female, are the temples of Christ in the flesh, but we are in Christ in the spirit, who is the gospel. We are in him in the spirit, who is the gospel. Luke 17, 20 and 21 says that the kingdom of God coming does not come with observation, natural observation. He said, the time will come where they shall, say, they shall say, look, he's here or look, he's there. And he says to go not with them for the kingdom of God, which is the kingdom of Christ, shall be in you. The kingdom of Christ shall be in you. So when the kingdom of Christ is in you in the flesh and you in Christ in the spirit and he living through you by revelation of the spirit, he becomes your sight. So you're going to know that if anything outside of the spirit is Antichrist, posing as Christ. So you're going to know not to go that way. And in that, in that very text, when you have the revelation of it, he's actually separating church from the gospel. He's actually separating church from the gospel. John 3, 3, it is written. Unless a man or woman is born of the kingdom, is born of the spirit, is born from above, they cannot see nor understand the kingdom of God. They can't see the things of the spirit, nor can they understand the things of the spirit. Now, I'm going to give a natural example of it. I couldn't see the things of the flesh. I couldn't understand the things of the flesh. I didn't know the way of the flesh until I was born of the flesh. Then I could see in the flesh. I could understand according to the flesh. I could see my way according to the flesh. But unless you're born of the spirit, you cannot see nor understand the way of the spirit. It's going to be foreign to you. It's going to be a mystery to you because your, your natural mind can receive the letter, but only your spiritual mind can receive the light. 
So you have to be born back into the light, which is Christ. You have to be born back into the light, which is Christ. Romans 9, 8, for they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God. Any one outside of being born of the spirit are the children of the flesh, and they're pursuing the things of the flesh. But they're not in the prosperity of Christ in the spirit. They're not growing in prosperity where you become rich, where you become rich and you, you, you don't have a male or female mentality where you're hiding behind things to look rich. OK, that that's called a fig leaf. And as he took it from Adam, he'll take it from us. A fig leaf can be anything that you are using to hide behind. Jesus said, let your light shine. Anything outside of him shining through you, you are using something outside of him to hide what's in you. All right. So Romans 9, 8 says that they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God, but the children of the promise. They're counted as the seed. The children of the promise. The children of the promise, those that have the, the promise of the Spirit of God, they, they have the Spirit of Christ indwelling them. Romans 14, 17, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but love, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. In the King James, it says the Holy Ghost. Some may say Holy Spirit, but it's love, joy, and peace in the revelation of the Spirit. Because if there's no revelation of the Spirit, there's no joy of the Spirit. And, and joy is eternal. The joy of the Lord is my strength. It's eternal. Uh, Satan don't care how happy you are. He entices you to, or us should I say, to go after the things that makes us happy as male and female, but not prosperous as men and women. He never wants you to come to the place where you can separate your manhood from your malehood, your womanhood from your femalehood. Because you can only do that once you're in the light. And you start walking and growing as a man, start walking and growing as a woman through the ability of Christ, which is in the revelation of Christ. We have to know the things he seeks to keep us from and the things that he don't even care if we have because they don't affect his kingdom. 1 Corinthians 4.20 For the kingdom is not in word, but it's in power. It's not in the written word in the flesh. It's in the power of Christ in the spirit. It's not in the letter. It's in the light. It's not in the letter. It's in the light. And as we were warming up to the teaching, we get into part one of the kingdom of Christ is within you. Not with you, but within you. Colossians 1.27 says that it's speaking to the Jew, to the Jew. It says, This is not the Jew, the Gentile. It says, This is the mystery among you Gentiles. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Now, Gentiles, Gentiles in the pertaining to the flesh, but once we receive Christ, we're no longer Gentiles. Because we were outside of the covenant of the circumcision of the flesh. So uh, once you're born of the spirit, you're freed from the indoctrination of race. All right. Because you have Jew and you have Gentile. Judaism is not a race. It's a religion. So all those people that are out there saying, well, the Jews are white, the Jews are black are, are wrong. They're deceived. Judaism is neither white nor black. Judaism is a religion. All right. And it was a shadowing type of the circumcision. And to the Jew was given the ministry of the circumcision. Now, white, anything that I did it identified as white and black was Gentile. That was outside of the Judeo religion, the Judeo culture. But when someone that identified as white or black joined the Judaism culture, they had to get circumcised. Now, circumcision in the flesh was a shadowing type of the circumcision of the heart in the spirit, where you were circumcised from the deception of race. 
See, you were circumcised from your whiteness. You were circumcised from your blackness. Because race is not a color. It's a doctrine. And that doctrine prevents you from, from walking in the light. That doctrine of race actually blinds you to the light because it puts you in the superficial. You can be religious, but it blinds you to the supernatural, which is the gospel. You, you cannot walk in the righteousness of God, which is Christ. Remember, if our gospel is hid, it is hid from those who are lost, in whom the God of this present age has blinded the minds of them that which believe not, least the glorious, least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So if I was to ask you, or if I was to ask most, who is God? Many people think God is Jesus. But Jesus is not God. Jesus was the physical manifestation of God, but Jesus is, is not God. Who is God? Well, the text, 2 Corinthians 4, 3 and 4, tells us Christ is, who is the image of God. I was created in the image of God. Christ is the image of God, which means he was never created. That makes him God. So God has a face, and the face of God is Christ. So you see him, and you receive him by revelation of the Spirit. In the flesh, because seeing you is not knowing you. To know you is to see you. In the flesh, we know because we see. In the spirit, we see through what we know. So you have to receive him by revelation. Because Jesus is Jesus in his eternal state as the Christ is the living word. Is the living word. Romans 8, 9. But you are not in the flesh. But in the spirit, if so be that the spirit of Christ dwells in you, you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so be that the spirit of Christ dwells in you. So you're not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so be that the spirit of Christ dwells in you, the spirit of God dwells in you. Now it's going to tell you who God is. Now, if any have not the spirit of Christ, they're none of his. So the spirit of Christ is the spirit of God, which makes Christ God. Jesus is the physical manifestation of Christ, who is God. So if I was to ask you who is God, the answer would be Christ, not Jesus. The answer would be Christ. Jesus was the physical manifestation of Christ, who is God. All right. John 6, 63. It is the spirit that makes alive. The flesh profits nothing. It is the spirit that makes alive. The flesh profits nothing. There's many a revelations on this, but the number one revelation Jesus was giving us when he said, it is the spirit that makes alive. The flesh profits nothing. He was distinguishing himself in his eternal state from his natural state. And what he was saying was, I in the flesh as Jesus can profit you nothing. But in my eternal state as Christ, I profit you everything. This is why he told his disciples who saw him in the flesh, who were still walking with him in the flesh after he rose, uh, he resurrected spirit, soul, and body. He told them, it is expedient that I go away or the comforter will not come. It, would expe it was expedient that he go away in the flesh so that he could come back to them in his eternal state as the Christ and cause them to be born of the spirit. And then they would know the difference between Jesus and Christ. They would know the difference between Jesus and Christ. We all in the flesh are the physical manifestations of who we were created. Of We are the physical manifestation of our true origin in the spirit. The flesh, the flesh is the physical manifestation of it. But in our original state, every single one of us are spiritual. So it is the spirit that makes alive. The flesh profits nothing. He says, the words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And to touch back on Colossians 1, 7, we all have to receive the circumcision of faith, which is true faith. We're, we're circumcised from the flesh and we're back in the spirit. The, the, the covenant of the circumcision, which was given to the Jews, was a shadowing type of Christ. Always remember, when you, when you hear people say that the Jews are white or the Jews are black, they are deceived. 
Judaism is neither white nor black. It's not a race. It's a religion. Everything outside of Judaism was a race. And when you joined the Judaism, it was at the denial of your race that you became a Jew. It was at the denial of your race that you came, you became a Jew because Judaism is not a race. It's a religion. See, everybody can't be black. Everybody can't be white. Even though they're just indoctrinations, you can act black. You can, you can act white. You know, a black person can act white and a white person can act black. But that's all race. That's just the indoctrination. That's the deception of race. When you join the Jews, you were circumcised from that race. It was the denial of it. This is why, uh, just to go to it real quick in Galatians, it says that, for as many of us have been baptized into Christ, Galatians 3, 27, 28, for as many of us as been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Now watch what it says. Where there is neither Jew nor Greek. See, there's no race in him. The Judeo religion, it ends in Christ. The Bible-based religion ends with Christ. It ends with the gospel. Where there's neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female. Male and female is flesh, man and woman is spirit. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. You are all one in Christ Jesus. And I just wanted to go a little further uh, on that aspect of what I got into. I, didn't, I don't know if I completed what I was teaching on it, but uh, it is written to give no place to the devil. So I don't like to leave anything open, open to chance, but to make sure... Uh, all scripture is taught by the light. That all scripture, uh, which is information, is taught by revelation. And this brings us to the end of part one. Love you in the Lord. See you in part two.